23 years, fans have come in here and seen the best players in the world. Yes! Once again, Murad City showcasing the hottest home. And today, we're taking a tour of the St. John's River in style. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the American Dream TV show. I'm Tammy Jerome, and I'm your host here in Los Angeles. And today we will visit yet another iconic landmark, the Walt Disney Concert Hall. It's an architectural masterpiece. And by the way, if you're ever in Los Angeles, you ought to see it. It will blow your mind. It's an spectacular. It's dramatic. It is exquisite. But let's go and meet the boss here and see what they have to tell us. Hey, Howard, thank Hi. you so much for meeting with us. Oh, you are and so welcome. We wanted to hear from you a little bit of the history. Sure. And the genius of the architecture Absolutely. of Frank Gehry. Yeah, well, so the history is Lillian Disney gave the Music Center a $50 million gift to honor her husband, Walt, with a concert hall. She wanted the hall to be acoustically perfect. She wanted it to represent her love of gardens, and she wanted it to be different. So the Music Center took on an international design competition, and ultimately, Frank Gehry was hired. There is movement, there is energy throughout it. Uh, the building is covered by 6,000 panels. No two are alike because of the curve of the building, and they create this incredible artistry that we are so lucky to have. Upstairs on the third floor is a beautiful space called the Blue Ribbon Garden. And that, and you were inside the hall, the seat covers, the seat fabric, collectively represented Lillian Disney's love of gardens. The trees were specked throughout the county of Los Angeles. Uh -huh. Frank's team literally went around and found trees in people's homes that they loved and said to them, can we buy your tree? Some people went, no, are you crazy? But enough people said yes, that we have this incredible fully grown garden. Now it's 20 years later, right. but even 20 years ago, these trees were full and blooming. And then this fountain is really an amazing Zen piece in the middle of this garden. It's called a rose for Lily. Um, when Mrs. Disney passed, her kids and grandkids wanted to tribute her somehow. So Frank designed this sculpture, and it is made out of shards of Delft china. Hi, Michael. Thank you so very much for meeting with us and sharing with us the experience of the auditorium. Absolutely. Welcome. Could you tell us a little bit about the shape the angles, which is the architectural style, plus the acoustic genius of this place. Sure. The concert hall is kind of an amalgam of a few different shapes. One of the big influences in the design of the shapes of the hall is ships. And so you can see, I mean, we refer to these triangular seating sections that you can see out here and then down in this area are referred to as the boats. When you're looking up at the ceiling from the stage, you'll see that it looks like the underside of a ship. Frank Geary did not want a church organ. He did not want the kind of traditional vertical metal pipes. And so he designed a wood sculptural structure that is entirely practical. And every single pipe up there is functional. Not one of them is a decorative item. It is a piece of art. And it's something that, you know, becomes a central feature of everything that we do. It is a classical concert hall, but it is unique. Every building is a little bit different. And that's the kind of the magic of the acoustics, right? The mystery part of it. You know, you can never just straight up replicate what has been done. But yeah, it's a beloved space and people really enjoy being on that stage and in this audience and getting to receive that. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much for joining us in this amazing trip to one of Los Angeles' most iconic landmarks, the Walt Disney Concert Hall. It's truly an architectural masterpiece. And if you're ever in Los Angeles, you ought to visit it and it blows your mind. Thank you. And I can't wait to see what's waiting for us next time. Take care.